Let's take a look at the structural formula for isopentane. If we looked at the chemical formula or the molecular formula, that's going to be C5H12. But that doesn't tell us how these atoms here, they're organized in three dimensions. So for that, we need the structural formula. Isopentane is an older name. It's not the IUPAC name. That's 2-methylbutane. These two are the same compound, the same structure, organized the same way. It's just this is an older name. When you see iso, what that means is that all the carbons, they're in a continuous chain, except for one of them is not going to be in this continuous chain. So here's five total carbons. That's the pentane, and they're all single bonded. So that's why it ends in A and E. It's an alkane. But this one here is not part of the continuous chain. And for that reason, this is called isopentane. So when we use the IUPAC name for naming, what we do is we write the longest carbon chain like this. Let's number it. And then that forms the basis of this name here, butane. That's four carbons, all single bonded. Then we have on carbon two, we have the methyl group. That's the CH3. That's on carbon two. So two methyl butane is another way to name this. Probably the preferred name, although you'll see both of these used in chemistry. We could put a skeletal formula for isopentane, two methyl butane, over like this. You could see a little bit of how the organization takes place. And we could also put a molecular model on top of that as well. Then you could really see the 3D structure. Blacks are carbon and the whites are hydrogen. So this is the molecular formula, the skeletal formula, and the structural formula for isopentane, also called 2-methylbutane. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.